Hi everyone, Natasha here from Be All Natural. And Layla, say hello. <laughs> so we're just out here in the garden and um, I thought I'd give you a little update about a native beehive that we rescued recently. A Tetragonula hockensii native beehive to be precise. There was a local space, well there's a local space in our area where there was a tree and the limbs were falling down off the tree and it was presenting quite a risk to the local kids that were playing in the park area. So there was an arborist called out to come and cut down that tree. And as the arborist was cutting into the limbs of the tree, he noticed that there was some hive activity. So he thought, well, let's give Bee or Natural a call and see if this hive can successfully be rehoused in our apiary. So we went out and had a look at the tree and we thought, well, why not um, see if we can bring that tree home and rescue the bees that are inside of it. Since the, uh, the limb of the tree had been cut off, um, we thought we'd have to rehome it, but we thought, well, let's give it a go. The bees were living in that limb. We could possibly reconstruct that limb and try and secure it back to the tree, which we have done. We put platelets in and secured it back to the tree, and we thought, we'll see how this goes, monitor the situation. If it gets any worse or no improvement, we'll put, it in, put the bees into a, a new box, a new hive box. Um, I just wanted to show you that we're quite pleased with this up here. The tree, which has got scratches in it from possibly possums or some koala activity, which unfortunately the tree did have to come down um, because it was presenting a danger. But you can see that this limb was cut from the tree and that's when the arborist noticed that there was some hive activity. And the bees are living in this limb, so we thought, let's try and secure it back, which we have done there. You can see those little platelets or pins there. And I'll just show you inside the limb. You can see that there's a lot of propolis being built in that space. And the propolis is being formed around the limb that's being cut off the tree to try and seal, seal the limb from any outside elements, which is excellent. And if I zoom in here, you can see there's quite a lot of activity in there, which is excellent. It's exactly what we want to see. So they're quite happy and healthy, doing their thing, pollinating all of our beautiful plants. You can see that there's plenty of foliage and flora. We've started to build a lavender and rosemary garden down the side of our home just to give some more food sources to the bees. So they're lapping that up, they're absolutely loving it. And um, around the local area, we've got plenty of foliage, lots of beautiful pollen filled trees. So let's just, uh, there they go, we'll keep an eye on them and I'll give you another update as it occurs. See ya.